Welcome to the Archaeoastronomy Database. One of the last remaining extreme events of the current major lunar standstill cycle is occurring on September 28th and 29th. There are slight variations in the most extreme event depending on your location, and for many locations, the event will reach almost the exact same extreme position to the south on both the 28th and the 29th. Now, major lunar standstills occur over a cycle of 18.6 years, and the current cycle has been ongoing for most of 2025, and some of the early, not quite as extreme events, began in 2024. The absolute maximum and minimum positions of the sun on the sky and in the horizon, either to the north or the south, occurred in spring of 2025. And many people assume that after those extremes that the major lunar standstill was for all intents and purposes over but in actuality it continues on through the rest of this year and maybe even a little bit into next year although at slightly less extreme positions however each month even at the height of the standstill the positions of the moon fluctuate slightly and around the equinoxes and half moon phases is when the most extreme events occur. And although spring of 2025 was the absolute most extreme events, events almost as extreme as the spring events occur in September of 2025. Now the moon will rise in daylight for most locations, and at this phase it might be observable under very clear conditions, but the moon set will be the one to watch. As the moon goes down, it should occur for most locations not too long after sunset on the 28th, and for locations in the northern hemisphere, the southern standstill is extremely far to the south but remains low on the horizon, and in the southern hemisphere, these southerly extremes will actually rise high into the sky the most extreme positions. Now the next day, on September 29th, the moon will rise again from many locations almost in exactly the same position, in daylight again, and again it will set even slightly later into the evening, but still not too long after sunset, near that absolute extreme position. So if you have an opportunity, and the weather permits, there's these last two chances on September 28th and September 29th in the evening after sunset to watch the moon set at its most extreme position. After that, the moon will still reach near these positions each month for the rest of this year and a little bit into next, but gradually the extremes will be less and less each month until in just over four years the moon will be reaching only as far in the sky as the sun can do during the solstices. And then a little over four years from then, we'll be at minor lunar standstill where the moon can't even reach solstice extremes. From there, we'll have to wait another four or five years to come back to the solstice extreme positions and cross through them. And then after the full 18.6 years, we'll be back at the height of the major lunar standstill again. So it's a long time to wait. So if you haven't had an opportunity to observe the moon at an extreme position during this major lunar standstill, this is your chance. If you can do it at an ancient site, it's an amazing experience. But if not, you can just observe in your own area and enjoy seeing the moon at this extreme southerly position. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, subscribe, and share with anyone that might be interested. And if you're able to donate, you can do so through Patreon, PayPal, or by sending a super thanks through YouTube. Until next time, keep watching the skies.